Hi everyone, as you know, I did a financial fast for the month of February. And it was where I just exercised some self-control and tried to, I guess, recalibrate myself financially after maybe a slightly extravagant or squanderless um, December and January, you know, with Christmas time, catching up with friends, shopping in the sales, um, you know, just maybe being a little bit um, irresponsible with my cash. Anyway, so the month of February, I just tried to cut down a few things here and there, look at the way I spend money and use money, and sort of question my value system. And it was actually an incredible experience. There were times where I was frustrated, angry, annoyed, but then there were moments where I was enlightened, empowered, and um, had some really powerful discoveries. Now, whenever I had an aha moment, as Oprah likes to call them, I recorded them on a vlog for you. And I'm just about to show you the vlog entries, but at the end of this video, I then share with you the top 10 lessons that I personally learned from doing this financial fast. So I hope you enjoy this and make sure you watch all the way to the very end because I had some very powerful and um, uh, important self-discovery moments. I have just done days one and two of February's financial fast and I've already saved over $50. Um, for the last two days I've packed a whole pile of snacks and taken them to work which has stopped me from like running out during the middle of the day um, and buying things like muffins and extra coffees and um, expensive like chocolate bars so um, taking things like nuts to work and um, fruit to work and yogurts and things like that. Um, also, um, one day per week, Rocco and I always go on date night. It's a really nice night. Sometimes we take the dogs and we go and grab dinner together. Anyway, tonight I decided I'd exercise some self-control and we went to sushi, which we often do, but instead of just letting Rocco grab everything and um, not being very sort of respectful, careful, um, I learned to say no to a few things and I'm actually really full and so is Rocco. And the bill came to $15 less than what we normally spend at sushi, which is quite amazing. Anyway, so I've saved $15. One thing I have realized though with this challenge is I have to constantly remind myself. Um, I, the other day I just went and bought a muffin and I shouldn't have done it because I'm doing a financial fast. So I've got to, I'm trying to be really careful and conscious of where I'm wasting money because the fact I've saved $50 already in two days just from food saving means I am not, I waste a lot of money on food. Anyway, I'm feeling full, so I'm not depriving myself and I'm eating a lot healthier, which is always a good thing. I was a little bit naughty yesterday and I bought a t-shirt. It was on sale and I actually really needed a, uh, a new t-shirt because being a minimalist, if you don't do washing regularly, you literally run out of clothes. And that morning I had to, I was so short on t-shirts, I actually had to pull a t-shirt out of the washing machine that was soaking wet because I didn't have enough clean t-shirts to wear. Anyway, it was my favorite shop. Um, it was on sale and I had actually seen it before and didn't buy it, but so I saw it and went, okay, it's a sign it's meant to be. And when I was in the shop, I saw this beautiful black shirt that was also on sale and um, I really, really wanted it. It was my size, it looked really good and with a lot of self-control and pain, I didn't buy it. And with the money that I um, saved from not buying, I transferred into the $1,000 project account. And um, I'm feeling, I feel good when I see the money sitting in the $1,000 project account. Um, so as much as I do actually legitimately need a new black shirt, because it's such a classic staple piece and it's my favorite shop, it was on sale, I didn't buy it. I exercised self-control. Just had days five and six and we saved money by, well, normally I'd go and get takeaway over the weekend and probably like meet up with a friend for a drink or maybe dinner on a Saturday night. But for Friday and Saturday night, we both stayed in relaxed, I started getting order to home delivery or takeaway, I just ate up all the bits at home, like leftovers, and I had a really nice relaxing weekend, catching up on reading, not going out, um, I still saw some friends, um, but I uh, saved money by just Mama. having a weekend at Mama. home, relaxing. Uncle. Oh. <laughs> Everyone, 
so it's Sunday morning and on Saturday night um, I really wanted to catch up with my girlfriends but I am really trying to make a conscious effort um, in doing this um, financial February fast. So um, I invited all of my girlfriends over and their kids and everyone bought either a bottle of wine or a plate of food and um, I ordered a few pizzas for all the kids. And it was just such a nice night. All the kids played together beautifully. Um, I got to catch up with all my girlfriends um, and have a glass of champagne. And it was just fun. And it was, you know, it was all in my home. We were sitting in an expensive restaurant and having to pay for babysitters. The kids got to play together and have some, some fun. And it was just a really nice night. And it wasn't about spending money. And I think I actually had a better time um, having my friends in my home and um, the playing with all of Rocco's toys, um, the mess everywhere, but it was great, it was a happy mess, so it was all good. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll, today I'm going to go and play beach volleyball with my friends and take the dogs for a walk, so again, not an expensive weekend at all. So last night I really wanted to go and catch up with my friends, and normally if I meet friends for a drink I always get a cab there and back, but this just time I decided I would drive, I would only have one drink, um, and um, I even parked my car um, quite a fair way away from the restaurant um, so that I didn't have to put, pay for parking meter. Anyway, um, I, was, I saved I think at least $30 um, in cabs, um, not including the money saved on parking. Hi monkey. <laughs> um, so. You know, it's really amazed me how much money I've saved and I have to say I have eased off. I am not being as frugal as potentially I should be because I'm really identifying, you know, what I value and appreciate um, and use. But, um, thanks monkey. One thing I've realised from doing this challenge is that life isn't very convenient. Um, I keep on seeing things on sale that I'd really like to buy. Um, I keep on seeing things I'd like to, pieces, uh, new wardrobe collections that are dropping in the stores at the moment that I'd love to buy, um, but I can't because I'm taking this really seriously. So um, fortunately for Rocco, um, we are avoiding the um, shopping malls um, for this month. And that's great because Rocco um, is my financial handy break when it comes to shopping because he absolutely hates shops, in particular women's clothing shops. So I have a confession to make. I bought a jacket. It's going to be part of my capsule wardrobe for um, autumn, winter in Sydney, but I'm feeling really guilty because I'm supposed to be doing frugal February. Um, I actually had had my eye on this jacket for so long, like I think almost three or four months. I originally saw it on a girl in a restaurant and I actually liked it so much I went and asked her where she got it from and it actually came from my favourite shop. Anyway, I have tried this jacket on so many times and it was just way too expensive, it was just ridiculous. And um, But I thought it was beautiful and loved it and was just like, that's nice but that's just too much money. Anyway, it went on sale. And they had it in my size, and then they took another 25% off, and they still had it in my size, and I let it, like, I think I twice I let it sit there for over 24 hours so I could think about it and double check. And then I just thought it's so beautiful and I like it so much, and I felt really good wearing it, and um, I went back and um, looked at all the th things in my wardrobe that it would work well with, and the events that I could wear the jacket to, and you know, I really examined the quality of the jacket, so I bought it. And um, because obviously I am doing this frugal February um, or financial fast uh, month, I took the money out of my life account to pay for it. Now, for me, because I have a mortgage, my life account is actually my redraw facility, um, I, because it's for me, that's the best way to, to pay off my home loan as quickly as possible and to save um, interest and time. So um, what I did was, because I feel really bad about it, um, and you know, this frugal thing, February financial fasting has made me realize, again, life doesn't always work out conveniently. Um, it happened, it was a great opportunity to buy something I had had my eye on and really loved and valued for so long. So I called my parents, told them what I did, and um, they very kindly um, took the jacket um, and they've kept it 
my mom's actually kept it in her wardrobe so um, and she's <laughs> I'm not sure she's gonna wear it because she actually really liked it um, and approved of it and even dad thought it was really lovely as well so they're gonna hold on to it and that jacket um, is going to be part of my reward to myself for achieving some of my personal um, goals that I'm sort of working on from a personal growth perspective and obviously also from my own personal financial goals so when I said to mom and dad do not let me wear this jacket or have this jacket until I have told you that I've achieved the things that I really have really sort of set a strong intention about working on um, they thought I was a little bit crazy um, and a little bit confused as to why I insisted on doing this um, but when mum saw how nice the jacket was, she said, that's fine, she'll keep it. Anyway, I'm feeling very guilty, but I wanted to be 100% honest um, with you because I really believe in um, being authentic. Going out for dinner or ordering home delivery, Rocco and I um, had a really nice night hanging at home together and eating um, dinner together. And we made cubby houses and um, watch some Netflix and um, and read about 5,000 storybooks together and the whole night cost nothing and it was actually so nice just hanging out with Rocco just him and me on a Saturday night together um, bonding and having fun I took a picture of Rocco's cubby house and put it on um, Instagram if you want to check it out but um, it's such a great night good for the soul hanging in at home and um, and just connecting and enjoying my time with Rocco and um, bonding and it cost nothing and I felt like a million dollar mother afterwards. <laughs> oh, we did it! We made it through frugal February or the month of financial fasting where I am really over being a massive tart ass and having to say no to myself. Um, admittedly it, it hasn't been fun but it's been really good and um, I've learned a lot about myself and I can now enjoy my almond milk cappuccino guilt free. And I ended um, Frugal February on a really good note, which made, <laughs> made me realize um, how much um, it is actually worth paying for good um, dog grooming because Sophia desperately needed a, a bit of a haircut. And I always wash my dogs myself, um, but she, being a cavalier, she needed to be um, trimmed. So I thought I would do it myself. And um, I did save $95, I admit, but I didn't do the best job and poor Sophia's got a few chunks missing um, out of her hair, not out of her flesh. So I think that $95 was good to save it, but I think it may have been uh, better for Sophia if I'd actually paid that money out. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching my vlog entries. As you can see, sometimes I really enjoyed it and sometimes, uh, some days I hated doing the financial fast. But um, the first thing that I realized was I waste a lot of money on food. Um, I, you know, I don't get me wrong, I, you know, need to eat and so does my family. But sometimes I'm actually really lazy and get home delivery or, you know, go and grab some sushi with Rocco because I um, am too tired to cook dinner. And I really need to change that because that is, that does add up to be a lot of money and, um, you know, it's, it is a waste sometimes to do it as often as I do it. <laughs> Two, little savings add up. I was really shocked as to how much money I managed to save during the financial fast. And every time I sort of said no to getting a second or third coffee or, you know, didn't get that muffin or, um, you know, didn't buy that top or those pants, I put the money, I consciously moved that money into the $1,000 project account. And it's really funny, like, you know, $10 here, $5 there. You know each day over a course of a week and over the month that added up to be a lot of money and it really to be honest horrified me as to how much money i actually waste three i actually enjoy getting coffees and muffins um rocco and i and the dogs have a really beautiful routine where we go for a walk in the morning and um you know talk to people in our local ca um, community and support our local cafes and i get an almond milk cappuccino and rocco and i share you know banana bread or a muffin which is really lovely and it's a bonding moment and you know we really enjoy it and um it's just i think you've got to have a better balance it can't be something you do necessarily every day or in my case more than once per day because um, i like to snack in the afternoon as well but it's really nice and I've met some really lovely people in those cafes and um, I've also made some great friends as well. Or sometimes you just have to out bite the bullet and outsource. For example, I gave Sophia a haircut in order to save $95. And poor Sophia, I did a really bad job. Um, 
I hacked away at her and I felt really bad. Five, I am way more capable than I realized. Now I, you know, see a beautician once a month and I decided to turn my bathroom um, for the financial fast one night um, into a home beauty salon and I did all my sort of beautician needs um, in my bathroom and I actually didn't do a too bad job. With the exception of painting my toenails, um, I did a really crappy job. And so, yeah, that's another thing I probably <laughs> worth um, spending money on, but I actually don't always need to go to the beautician and get everything done. I can do a few of those things myself at home. Spending time at home is good for the soul. There were quite a few nights where I didn't go out with my friends or go to you know, a restaurant. I just stayed at home and hung out on the sofa with Rocco chilling out and it was actually really nurturing. I felt like my, I felt like I recharged my batteries. Um, I hung out with the dogs, got to cuddle them on the sofa and yeah, it was just good for the soul. Seven, I do value some expensive things. For example, I was having a shower and I had this quite extravagant shower gel, which I absolutely love and I was using it and I breathed in all the beautiful essential oils and it made me feel so relaxed and um, uplifted and recharged. And you know, I went, you know what, as expensive as this is, I actually really enjoy using it. Um, it feels good, it, makes, it lifts my spirits. So for me, that is money well spent. That's a good value system and one of my many aha moments from doing this challenge. Eight. When you consciously put your savings into a separate account, you really, really realize how quickly little savings add up to be large amounts. I think there's something very powerful when you actively make a decision not to spend money that you actually transfer it into a separate savings so it gets actually put to good use rather than just kind of evaporating away and being used to pay for something else. I, I had to continuously remind myself I was doing the financial fast. It was so, I, so many times I quickly slipped back into my old habit systems. I went, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to go grab a coffee or yeah, I'm just going to have a little wander around the shops. And I just, you know, consciously remind myself, no, I'm not allowed to do that. I'm doing the financial fast. You know, our habit systems are really ingrained <laughs> deeply within our actions. And, you know, by every day reminding myself of what I'm working towards and why I'm working towards that helped me, you know, stay focused and motivated to do this challenge and survive the full 30 days. And the 10th and probably the biggest um, lesson I learned from doing the financial fast is that the most beautiful and special moments aren't about spending money. They're about connections and bonding with people around you. And whether that be sitting in a park or around a dining table sharing a beautiful meal, they're the moments that make you feel authentically wealthy. For after doing the financial fast, I'm actually going to continue um, applying and using some of the same techniques that I learned. Obviously, I'm not going to do it as aggressively um, because it's not sustainable, um, but I'm definitely going to be much more conscious of the way that I use money and continue to put those savings when I find them into the $1,000 project account so that I can continue on building the investment portfolio. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching my financial fast. If you decide to do it, I would love to hear from you. Let me know your experience and let me learn know about what you're like doing. Well, I'm going to go because my crazy kid uh, wants me to play with him. But I will see you next week on Lifestyle Love. I hope you enjoyed this. Ciao.